Yo, straight up, grilled cheese. Never really cared about it. So this is gonna be a good episode. You like, don't you? You fucking little dummies. Look how stupid YouTube is now. Yeah, so hit the fucking thumbs up button for garbage big grilled cheese. Suck my Yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay, toasted bread, butter, and melted cheese is mad hype. It is, but it's mad hype in the same way that a yellow Gatorade is mad hype. And that like, you pop one open, you take a couple sips, you'll be like, wow, yum. And then you won't really touch one for like, you know, a couple weeks. And plus you're not even that loyal to the Gatorade. I mean, you could have like uh, vitamin water or just regular water. I don't fucking know, I don't play sports. I'm not gay. Bun is like the most important, sometimes under thought of part of a burger. Cause if you have a shit bun, your burger could fall apart. Or if you get too crazy with the bun, like a mac and cheese bun, that's just asking for disaster. But a grilled cheese bun. Now that, I took some planning in the burger revolution periodic timetable. It is a grilled cheese ain't shit until we touch upon ye with our culinary abilities and make it shit by making it not shit, by making it the opposite of shit. Pee pee? No, not pee pee. Come. Nope. This is a bad, I'm saying bad things right now. Give me a second. That beautiful, juicy, oh, butter. And we're buttering the shit out of these grilled cheeses. No shortcuts, no shortcuts on the grilled cheese. And our grilled cheese is gonna be loaded with over 40 slices of Kraft Thick Boys Singles. I almost said Thingles. You I did say Thingles. I did want to say Thingles. Ah, it's gonna be the best grilled cheese out. Ah, it's gonna be the best. It's gonna be the best grilled cheese sandwich out there because grilled cheese sandwiches aren't even that hype. I, I, I gotta clarify this though. Grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup, that's hype. But grilled cheese just like that, what are you, five and gay? So this technique right here, what I'm doing is I'm absorbing all the leftover butter that wasn't under the bottom of the grilled cheese. Now it's going all over the crust of the grilled cheese. So it is a valid technique because when I flip, I don't want any of the excess butter to fall on my arm causing like a third degree burn. Ooh wee! And best believe, we're not just using that standard issue bacon. We're using that super snack time sriracha bacon. Smell the flavors penetrate your nostrils. I have to use this special oven mitt to withstand 900 degrees Fahrenheit just because the bacon makes the tray hotter. What are you gonna say about that? Now since we're f***ing with grilled cheese, a grilled cheese is natural. How do you say pairing is a tomato soup. So it would be perfect to make a matching of tomato soup with a 50-50 blend of ketchup. Both part of the tomato family, both different forms of tomato combined together should unite to make the perfect condiment for our grilled cheese burger. You can smell the pairing of the tomatoes, they're acclimating perfectly. So do you wanna make a, you wanna, you're not making shit, we're making it. Do you wanna bite? You're not gonna get a bite. Not this time, Derek. <laughs> Maybe next one. Do you wanna see the biggest grilled cheese hamburger in the game? All right, well, take your pants off and hit that thumbs up button. Long gone are the days of boring buns, grilled cheese buns. That's falling. Grilled cheese buns.